Hi, my name is Mariazzi, and welcome to the Fort Apollo Studio tutorial. In this video, I'll go over creating a standard 8-page project file template. First, let's create the main layout where we will draw all of our light effects. So let's add a group, and add 8 chains into it. This is going to be a group where each chain is going to serve as one page. We can go ahead and rename this to page. Next, inside of this group, we want to create another group, and this group will host all of our light effects. So each one of these chains will become one specific light effect. In order to map this page one chain to the actual page one, we're going to add a page filter device, and we're going to select page one as the page we want to filter. And now for every other page, we're simply going to select a different page. This way we're mapping every single chain to a different page. If the size of the page filter bothers you, you can now easily collapse it, and you don't have to care about it. Depending on which page you want to create your light effect on, you can now select a chain which contains the page you want and start building your light effect. Let's create an example light effect on page one. I'm going to map it to this key only. And now let's add a pattern device. I'm going to design my effect in the pattern editor. Now that that's done, let's add some post-processing effects such as a flip device. And let's add a fade device as well. Now if I wanted the page to switch to page 2 when I trigger the slide effect, after the key filter and before the pattern, I would add a switch device. The switch device will switch the page to the target page when it receives an input. So when I press my button, you can notice that the page has switched to page 2, and now I'm controlling effects that are on the page 2 chain instead. And finally, we can map switch devices to swap pages when we press the right side buttons. To do that, let's first group this group into another group. And we're going to call this chain main effects. Now we're going to add a key filter here, which will allow every button to pass except for the right side buttons, which we will be using exclusively for page swapping. And now below our main effects, let's create a chain called page swaps. Now we have to branch this chain out per key, so that we can swap to a different page for each button. Let's add a group, and each chain will represent one of our buttons. So we're going to add a key filter first, and map it to the first button. Then let's manually switch to page 1. Now when I press the page swap button, you'll notice that the page has changed to a value of 1. We can now repeat this process for each page we've got. And there we go! Now we can manually swap our pages with ease. If your project file contains multi-sampling, when you swap a page, it's usually useful to clear all of the multi-devices in your project to a neutral state. We can achieve this by chaining a clear device, which will clear multi-devices only, or this can also be applied in your main chain at the point where you switch your page. And finally, let's design a small effect for the page swap keys. If you prefer not having a light go off when you press your page swap key, you can simply add a key filter device and allow no keys to pass through. If you prefer something special, you can usually just chain a fade device and design a gradient to make it look better. If this fade is going to mix with your light effects, you can place a layer device to make sure it's either under your effects or over your effects at any point in time. When you're building ideas with complex structures like this, don't be afraid to utilize the under history window to go back to any point in time in your project file. It allows you to go back to any idea you scrapped earlier but might want to have a second look at. And that's all for this video. If you like Apollo Studio, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Bye.